Hello everyone, and I'm Stéline. My name is Emmeline, and you're watching ETA to Z on Arts TV. Ethiopia is a land of runners. And any sabekele, there are tutulu, Haile Gebre Selassie, the Dibaba sisters. You may be familiar with the names of Ethiopia's Olympics icons. These athletes made it to the top of the podium and won countless medals. What has been driving their success? And why are Ethiopians so good at long distance running? Today, we're going to meet one coach who has trained some of the Ethiopian legend runners and now trains the legends of tomorrow. Let's go. Coach Aji. Yes. Akem. Naguma. How long have you been coaching champions in the making? Since I'm starting coaching, I reached like uh, 20 years. And how many athletes have you trained? Uh, when I start uh, coaching, I start with one guy. His name is uh, Faisatuse. Now he's living in the uh, United States. Then I start from that. Now I reach like uh, more than 100 runners. Where are we right now? We are in, uh, in Toto, inside where the athletes train. It's the forest. Why is this place a good training location? Usually uh, when athletes uh, come here, its uh, altitude is uh, high. It's like uh, more than 3,000. That is uh, very important for the runners. We are did the uh, usual easy training and uh, sometimes long training to here. That's why I choose because of the altitude. You're very well experienced. You've been coaching so many different athletes. What are the secrets of Ethiopian athletes? The majority of uh, runners is coming from a uh, farmer family. Uh, since it's his children, it's want to pass through the uh, sport because it's want to support family, it's farming, it's uh, to help family. That's make strong from the beginning, from uh, zero. A strong motivation. Yes, of course. It's not only uh, motivation. The only thing it's uh, that's not do intentionally, you know, just to help the family because uh, this is uh, the life of farming families. Then uh, the land of Ethiopia is uh, very nice for the um, runners because it is the altitude is uh, high. If it is um, athlete is different kind of uh, born life, someone's talented, someone is uh, talented, is interested, someone has uh, only interest, no talent, someone has talent, no interest. Then the main thing is compare everything based on the runners. We give training, that is only the secret, no any secret. The main thing is uh, follow the athlete and uh, give a good training system. This is the only thing, uh, no any secret in Ethiopia. How about their diet. Can their iron-rich diet boost their performance too? That means uh, in food? Yeah. I was actually wondering if Tef had any influence on their performance. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. The majority of uh, Ethiopians eat uh, injera. Yes. It's that come from Tef. I don't know the people is that do research on them. I don't know if it's uh, give iron or something like that. But uh, here in Ethiopia, the main thing, the food is uh, organic. It's get from uh, different kind of food. Uh, it get uh, different kind of uh, vitamin, different kind of uh, calorie. It's get from uh, different kind of food. Mm. It's everything is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually, Ethiopians run in large groups. They train in large groups. Does it help to yeah. run together? Yeah, of course. Uh, that's no questions because it is uh, help each other. You know, during the competition, it's um, a lot of people run together. Even if it is um, trained by only by himself, it's affect even if it's breathing, you know. Mm -hmm. When it's come to which group, uh, if the runners is bring from different uh, direction, it's confused him, it's disturbing because he don't adapt on that. So, in other hand, 
when it's uh, trained uh, in group together, it's help each other. Mm -hmm. You know, all athletes have a different uh, running styles and the different uh, talented. The one is did with stronger, it's become stronger, you know. That is uh, the main thing. It is uh, no question. It's trained mm -hmm. together is very important for the runners. And would you say that there is a genetic predisposition to run faster than the others? Yeah, of course, everybody when it's born, it's uh, different genetics, you know. So, um, but the only thing, uh, interest. Someone, uh, if not only in runners, within everything, if you have interest, you reach your point. Who are the top runners or runners who made it to the top of the podium that you've coached? It's a lot, you know, this, <laughs> I don't know how. It's the top, top when I mention, uh, as you know, Runesh Dibaba, she's uh, one of the best world-class athletes. Yeah. Since she's finished her uh, track season, she come to me, uh, I train her. And Anissa Bekele, uh, just uh, also, he's a very known uh, runners. I train him like uh, Lilisa De Sisa, uh, winner of world champion, Mari Dibaba, winner of world champion. And uh, uh, sorry, there is a lot I, I cannot <laughs> mention. It's only just uh, to say a uh, few mm. from the from the top. Uh, top, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of top, <laughs> but uh, I don't mention all the name. It's mm -hmm. uh, a lot. We're very familiar with the names of those legends, but you also have a part in making those champions, right? What makes your training different? Since I'm uh, 14 years old, I come to sport. Uh, I pass through running, you know, just not uh, only in um, learning. Mm. Just almost I tasted everything. What is the feeling all inside the runners? It is inside me. I know uh, because I tasted, for example, take it fire. Mm. People say fire is uh, like this, like this. But the people knows, the people touch the fire it knows how it is, uh, the feeling if of they got exactly, <laughs> exactly it knows because I'm the one of that, you know, just I pass uh, almost more than 20 years uh, pass through uh, sport. I learn from myself. Uh -huh. So I, I create uh, very, uh, as I told you, from one is come to 100 today, Yeah. more. So your experience as a runner made the difference? Yes, of course. That's the one. Uh, the other hand, it's my uh, training system, you know, mm. that's the only thing. So I guess you're not going to be willing to tell me what's your training system. <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Mr. No. <laughs> no, no. no, I tell you just so you know uh, what kind of training you design yeah. according to the... Um, the person. The person, you know, mm. this is uh, how it is. Maybe uh, some runners, it's um, carry, um, a lot of loaded, mm -hmm. someone it's need easy, someone maybe twice in a day, mm -hmm. someone it's only maybe mm -hmm. one times in a day. When you are uh, match that together, just you are benefiting mm -hmm. what you are doing. That is, um, and what has um, running and coaching brought to your life? Uh, Fulfillment, happiness? Uh, the main thing uh, I pass my life through sport it's make me uh, more than everything, it's happiness, what I'm getting. What would be your advice for a beginner, someone who wants to start running? Just the only thing, um, as I said, if it is of interest, just do every day running. Consistency. Consistency, yeah, that's the only thing. After that, when it's uh, rich with uh, coaches, it's listen to the advice of the coach, don't rush. Hmm. Some runners, it is uh, come uh, in a year, within one year, you want to reach the point, you know, hmm. no. It's uh, maybe someone, it's take two years, someone maybe it's take uh, 20, uh, 15 years. Hmm. The one is maintain, it's have, uh, get the goal. Okay. Yeah. So if we sum it up, Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Coach Haji. Galatomi. Thank you very much, too. Galatomi. Hey. Hey. 
Thank you, Hastings. Good, thank you. Okay. Please. Thank you, nice to meet you. I couldn't end this episode without meeting Olympic legend Haile Gebre Selassie, also known as Ethiopia's smiling assassin, little big man. You were given many different nicknames throughout your career. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? My favorite, uh, what uh, I can say, you know, just a smiling man. <laughs> <laughs> this is my character, actually. Uh, one thing what I want to tell you about, you know, just my smiling, my, I can say, you know, laughing. <laughs> because of, you know, comes, you know, just from my, I don't know. Even, you know, when I was then a little boy, even in, uh, when I was in uh, school, once I remember, you know, my, I had, you know, this character. I had uh, a big accident with my teacher because, you know, the time when he, he was, you know, beating me. Because then in our school, but not these days, mm -hmm. it was normal. Uh, if you, the punishment from the teachers, you know, sometimes, you know, just... If you don't behave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then at the time when he did, you know, just that punishment, I was laughing. And then he was very offended. I'm punished him. I'm beating him. Why is life? <laughs> <laughs> so now it has become like a... Yeah, a character. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this episode is about the Olympics mm -hmm. and athletics. What is your greatest Olympic moment? I started to participate you know, since 1996, Atlanta. Mm, my best Olympics, you know, my best one was in Sydney 2000. That was, you know, my best moment. And if you have a chance, you know, to see that race, between me and Paul Tergat from Kenya, it was amazing. It was very close to each other. We finished, you know, that like, it should be, you know, two gold uh, for me and for Paul. Because, you know, he almost, you know, just to win the race. I win, you know, from Paul Tergat, you know, 900 of a second. Mm -hmm. This is never happened in athletics. I mean, especially in 10,000 meters and, uh, and uh, long distance, never. But that was, you know, just uh, the day what I did, you know. That was, you know, my favorite moment, uh, my best Olympics in my life. This is actually something that really defined you, the sprint at the end of the race. Uh, myself, I never give up. Eh? Mm. If you, I mean, a chance to see, you know, that race, it looks like Paul Tergat won the race. It looks. Until uh, the last 20 meters, he was almost in front of me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't you know from him, you know, like the, the last 10, 15 and uh, 9 meters. I mean, like, uh, just penny. And uh, 100 meters was the win by Morris Green in, uh, in Sydney. His winning was uh, from the second one, I mean, a big gap compared to my, my 10,000 meters from uh, Paul Tergat. That's why, you know, I always, you know, we Ethiopians are very good in sprint. And myself and the others also, we're doing very well, you know, just in speed walk training. Hmm. In your opinion, who is Ethiopia's greatest um, Olympic champion of all time? Always what I said, you know, this before and before for many times. You know, for us, uh, our hero, the greatest, you know, Olympiad is uh, Abebe Bikila. Why I said, he's a pioneer. Without Abebe Bikila, no Haile Gabriel Selassie, no Kanani Sabakala, no Trunesh Dibaba, no Darata Tulu, even no African athlete. He was the first one to win the Olympics from Africa, not from Ethiopia. And uh, plus, the way how he win you know, the, that race, barefoot 42K. Oh, <laughs> do you imagine? Yeah. Impossible. Uh, myself, I don't know how many meters I can. As a drama all of its own, the Olympic Games Marathon, a feat of endurance to test the fittest athletes in the world. See.
My last race was here in Addis Ababa in, I mean, 2015 or 16. Yeah. And uh, to remember a baby killer. To pay and, tribute. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, okay, uh, let me remember him. Okay, the, the race was the you know, 10K, Great Ethiopia run. At least, you know, the last 1K, barefoot. And how was it? Oh, mama. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> And, uh, well, I told them, you know, just the people who was, hey, they know the time when I arrived, you know, just uh, the, at the Mescal Square. Yeah. In one kilometer, you know, my foot is burned. <laughs> and I told them, I should do from the beginning, and then it <laughs> doesn't be nice. <laughs> I was there, actually, in 2015. Oh, you? Yes, yeah. yes. You see? <sighs> I remember that moment. Yeah. Imagine, you know, Abebe Bikila ran a barefoot, and the winner is. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes, you know, just as I said, you know, of course, I cannot do like what he did. Ah, you know, the, in 16s, uh, barefoot is much better than the shoes. <laughs> 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 because now technology, as you know, because yeah. now people, even nowadays, you know, people, they are talking about the world record uh, marathon. Mm -hmm. You know, the true world record. Human being run two hours and 15 minutes, that was a baby killer. The rest is technology. You see now the new technology, the new shoes, you, are, you can fly. Mm -hmm. You can fly. Ethiopia is known as the land of runners. What do you think is the secret behind it? Yes, you're right. Ethiopia is a land of runner. Uh, the reason why is uh, many reasons. I mean, uh, most important part, you know, just was is athletics, especially long distance, what it needs. The most important part is the background or the natural talent from your, uh, the way how you grow up, you know, just uh, when you were young, as a young boy, as a young girl. And plus the place where you live. And uh, plus, you know, just the way how you grow up, I mean, means, you know, just how many kilometers to school, how many kilometers, you know, just to, to, to help, you know, the parent. And the other one is, you know, just the altitude training. And the other one is the food, what you eat. Uh, is that you know, just uh, helpful you know, for uh, running? And, uh, it's the same like you know, why the Brazilians are good in football and mm. uh, kind of thing. And an opportunity, plus a uh, role model, the people who follow. And uh, you can say, you know, just, oh, the highly give Brazil, say one, you know, there is a baby kill. I say, hey, what's the big deal? You know, just he's from my village, he's from my uh, country. I can do. That is mm. the way. And uh, plus, uh, the, the way how we're training. And uh, you see, all together, it brings, you know, just Ethiopia is the best long distance runner uh, in the world, uh, including the Kenyans. If I give you, you know, just my uh, background, uh, I used to run, you know, 10 kilometers to school every day and another 10 kilometers back home, it's 20 a day, imagine. The food, what I used to eat, uh, for example, nowadays, you know, my children, my kids, uh, they are eating, you know, this junky food, you know, carbohydrate, we think, chocolate, cake. What do I get that one? And when I was in the countryside, mm. I didn't have, you know, that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I had to eat, you know, just what I, what is, you know, just uh, from uh, field. Mm. And, uh, what was available? Available. Now, that was very original. Mm. And milk from our cow. And uh, everything there, you know, like... Uh, the one that support you, you know, just the future, uh, Haile Gabriel Selassie and the future of Baby Kila. Huh? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, you see, all you combine, you become, you know, just what you are now. What makes the difference to become a world-class athlete? Oh, that's another thing. Uh, you see, all the opportunity there, the things what I told you, I mean, the weather, the lifestyle, the food, what you eat, and what is final? You solve. Mm. You have to have, you know, just uh, this, you know, three very important, very essential for athletics. Not only for athletics, by the way, you know, for the things what you, what you want to be. As an athlete, I, I told, you know, just you know, nowadays, I advise, you know, those youngsters, you guys, you have to have, you know, three, three things, especially the middle one is the very important one. Okay, the first one is commitment or uh, goal. That's, you know, just everybody wish to become an Olympic champion, world champion. And second one is discipline. Third one is hard work. 
And when we talk about, of course, uh, we don't need to talk about you know, just the commitment or uh, goal and uh, hard work. But the discipline is the most important mm -hmm. part in athletics. Mm -hmm. You have you know, all kind of discipline in athletics. Mm -hmm. The way, I mean, like discipline for eating, discipline for uh, training, discipline for uh, your uh, like uh, daily activities and uh, social lives and uh, even in your discipline, the way how you take rest. Mm -hmm. That is very important. You no, know? that's the way how you give. I mean, the more you give, the more you become a world champion, a Olympic champion and so on and so on. That is you know, just what the difference between uh, the superstar mm -hmm. and the middle or the medium one. And perseverance is also very important. Eggs. I remember you told me once that your dad used to say, never give up. Oh yeah, sometimes you, know, just, you can include it you know, just in the discipline way. But mm -hmm. in, in, I mean, in athletics, as you said, never give up. Because in athletics, you know what, what it needs? Like, uh, I can't do it. Mm. You cannot say, you know, just I become number two, number three. No, in athletics, it doesn't say like that. Or I'll be the winner, the winner of this competition. Doesn't matter what position you finish at the end. Mm. <laughs> it can't be three or <laughs> second. And, uh, well, also in athletics, in terms of time, that's also very important. I'm trying to use you know, just uh, my time proper way. And I always tell to people, hey guys, use your time. Mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about time, of course, uh, the things what you've done enough for today, you have to do it. Don't uh, procrastinate. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing, you know, just what we need in us as a best athlete. Before you win someone, you have to win yourself. That's a really hard, you know, to win uh, yourself, mm -hmm. I don't know. It means you know, just you beat yourself, you win yourself. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a really a uh, very. <laughs> okay, so th to sum it up, what would be your advice for young athletes? As I told you, you know, just those those three and plus you know, win yourself. And as I told you, you know, discipline really very important, and uh, you know, athletics. It's like uh, a baby who's you know just uh, under uh, one years old. The way how you carry in athletics is like that. It's a baby. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't, you know, just uh, do in a proper way, not to lose everything, but you do, you cannot, you know, just achieve what you want to be. For example, in running, it's just uh, between life and death. Mm. And uh, you see, nowadays, you know, those youngsters, they are, you know, just, they start to think about, you know, the shortcut. In athletics, a shortcut, uh, at the end of the day, it, I mean, it's a very dangerous one. Because in athletics, you have to believe yourself. Ah, uh, oh, I'm gonna win, you know, just by taking, you know, this thingy. Oh, I can, I mean, let me win, you know, this race, you know, by using, you know, this kind of, okay. Uh, now, in sport, you know, a lot of drugs and many mm. other things. Okay, who cares if I win, you know, this money? How oh, 100,000 is this marathon? I don't care. What? You see, the day when he decided, you know, this, the day, you know, just, he finished everything. Mm -hmm. In athletics, in sport, there is no shortcut. Believe yourself, trust yourself. And it's a marathon. It, it's a marathon, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, what is the difference between marathon and 10,000 meters? Mm -hmm. oh. You see, guys, when I run uh, 10,000 meters, I run against the athlete. When I run a marathon, I run against the distance itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and against yourself. Exactly. <laughs> Ato Haile, you're a very successful businessman. What are the common features between um, a businessman and an athlete? Well, one thing what I want to tell you now, I stopped competing uh, almost five, six years. Huh? No competition in the last six years. But uh, it's a tougher competition. It came and not just after that. Mm. This, this competition, Running a business is a tough competition because of not only the money or not only the business itself, because of many people involved in this uh, with you, the people who work you know, just around you. In athletics, few people, coach, physiotherapist, manager, then a friend, or that's all. Three, four people. Now 3,000, 4,000 people mm -hmm. walking around you. Mm -hmm. 
Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, both the know how the, the same, uh, almost very similar. Both mm -hmm. the needs, you know, just to be number one. Mm -hmm. But in business, uh, I don't know when it's going to be number one. And, uh, as I told you, you know, just it's not easy. But for me, yes, I can do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know when, but believe me, uh, I put in you know, just a good best position somewhere uh, very soon or mm -hmm. later. Of course, uh, needs you know, just some kind of uh, hard training in mm. uh, business, <laughs> like in <laughs> athletics. And do you still find the time to run? Oh, I do. Oh, well, every day before I come to office, of course, the training has to be there. Oh, Where I do you train? Uh, mostly at home, like a treadmill. Mm. <laughs> I, this, the treadmill, uh, uh, the last six years, that treadmill has to say something because uh, how many kilometers I run. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, weekend, you know, I try to go outside mm. and uh, I do, you know, just um, a longer run, like 20K, mm. but mostly, you know, 10K, 8K, mm. 12K on treadmill, t maximum 10K on treadmill. Okay. We just came back from Entoto, actually. You? Was it one of your uh, training wow. locations? When, when you say Entoto, when somebody, you know, just calling Entoto, it's just to call Entoto the place, not only where we training, you know, hard, also where we are refreshing. Because mm. as soon as you know, just you in Toto, the weather over there is completely different than you know, just the town here. It was very cold, actually. <laughs> oh, early morning, yes, you are right. Especially in November, December, yeah. very cold. You know, sometimes it can be, you know, just minus two, minus one. Mm. But uh, not for, uh, like, uh, as soon as, you know, the sun rises, everything's gone. Mm. Uh, the temperature, it's, it, you know, it increased by 10 uh, degrees. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I like in total training. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my favorite. Plus, anyone who's training in total never uh, miss a race or never uh, lose a race. That's what we believe. If you miss in total, yeah, you lose a race. Ethiopian athletes won four medals at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. What's your forecast for Paris 2024? We'll do you know, just a better, a better result compared to the... Tokyo was really a bad result compared to what we have done before. But uh, Paris is our city. <laughs> One of you know, our disadvantages here in Ethiopia, you see, uh, most of you know, the Olympic and World Championship is in summer, the, in Europe and Asia or America. Here is a rainy season. What we've done, you know, just for cross country, not for track or for not for a marathon. That's why, you know, the result is always bad. That's why, you know, just in Tokyo was not so good. But in Paris, the weather over there, you know, it's a perfect actually, mm -hmm. except the marathon. But the 10,000, 5,000 meters, you know, we ran many times in Paris. We came back, you know, just with the medals and everything. I remember in, nine, I mean, 2003, we ran Paris. And uh, uh, top three was from Ethiopia, the 10,000 meters. And Anissa won, I finished second, and the Silesh is in third. And uh, I believe, you know, we repeat, you know, that uh, that was a world championship, but uh, coming Olympics in Paris, uh, believe me, it's Ethiopian time. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. Yeah, no question. Otherwise, you know, just uh, if you are there, you know, Ethiopian athlete has to win. I will tell them to get that, don't worry. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I wish you all the best, Malka Medel. <laughs> Thank you very much. At Haile Gebre Selassie, but I'm a masagin allo. But I'm not a masagin, I'm a masagin allo. 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 I like. I'm a masagin allo. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of ETA to Z. See you all next time. Abebe Bikila, why he won in that race? Barefoot, 42K. Because he loves his country, Ethiopia. He doesn't want to uh, see his country became you know, just second or third. He wants to win because he loves Ethiopia. I want to tell you know, just all those youngsters, let them you know. Of course, you know, sometimes you know, when I said, oh, what are you talking about? No. Mm. At the end of the day, it's just, you cannot replace your mother by somebody. Just as a mother. If you love, you know, just a country, believe me, you can do, you know, just anything what you want.